Autumn Leaves by Ken Robbins. And this book is nonfiction, so that means it's real. It has true facts. Um, the publisher is Scholastic. So autumn is the same as fall, and I think yesterday was the first day of fall. Autumn is a time to look closely at leaves. In spring and summer, the leaves on most trees are green, but in autumn, those green leaves turn different colors and fall to the ground. Some leaves just dry up and turn a dull brown, while others turn colors that are brilliant and bold. Orange, yellow, red, purple, and gold, painting the landscape and changing the world. Really pretty, huh? The leaves of most trees are flat and thin. Most are connected to the tree by a stem. This is a birch leaf. This is a maple. All leaves have veins. The veins of some leaves are quite easy to see. Some leaves are shiny and some are dull. Shiny, dull. Some have shapes that are simple. Smoke tree. Some have shapes that are not. That's a red oak. Sometimes lots of leaflets make up a leaf. Little teeny parts make up a leaf. Some are big, some are small, some are narrow, some are wide. Some leaves are not the same on the right side and the left side. Others have edges that are jagged, well, pointy parts, or edges that are smooth. Leaves are different on each different tree. Look at them carefully and see what you can see. Here's a smoke tree. These are all from a smoke tree. The smoke tree's leaves are shaped like paddles. The stalks of its flowers are so thin and fine that from a distance they look like smoke. Isn't that pretty? Birch. The bark of the gray birch is white and smooth and shines like silver when it catches the light. Birch leaves have jagged edges. Ginkgo. Ginkgo trees grew in prehistoric times. Dinosaurs once ate their fan-shaped leaves. Aren't they pretty? This is how they change colors. Linden. The leaves of the linden tree are rather large and shaped like hearts. That's pretty. Sassafras. Several different shapes of leaves can grow on the branches of one sassafras tree. Some even look like mittens. They're different, isn't that neat? Sweet gum. The leaves of the sweet gum tree are almost always shaped like stars. It's pretty. Hickory. There are compound leaves on the hickory tree. Five leaflets or more make up the leaf. See how they are separate. That makes up one leaf. Red oak. Red oak trees have pointed leaves. Oak trees come in many different forms, but they all make acorns in the fall. Fern leaf beech. The fern leaf beech has smooth gray bark its leaves, when they are dry, look like question marks. Cherry. Cherries are the fruit of the cherry tree. Some are sour and some are sweet. Cherry tree leaves are shinier on one side than they are on the other. Dogwood. The dogwood tree has beautiful flowers in the early spring. The pretty dogwood leaves are like ovals with points. They're really pretty. Yellow poplar. The yellow poplar is also called the tulip tree. The leaves look like a little bit like a tulip flower. They do a little bit. Maple. Maple trees often have the brightest and most colorful leaves of all the trees in the fall. Ooh, they're really pretty. Green leaves make food out of something as slight as carbon dioxide and water and light. Green leaves make a kind of sugar to help trees grow. 
It's made from water and light and a part of the air called carbon dioxide. There is a proper word for this, photosynthesis. That's a big word. There are special scientific words for the chemicals that give leaves their color. It's called chlorophyll that makes them green. The yellow is from xenoxophil. The orange is carotene. The reds and purples are anoxanin. And brown is the result of something called tannin. When photosynthesis stops in fall, the green parts of the leaves dries up and dies. Then we start to see the amazing colors, the yellows and golds that were there all the time. And sometimes a bit of sugar gets left in the leaf when it dies. That turns the leaf purple or red for a while. Sooner or later, all the leaves fade to brown. See how it's changing, isn't that pretty? Eventually the base of the stem where the leaf is attached to the tree grows brittle. Then when the wind blows, even a little, the leaf breaks and breaks off and flutters through the air to the ground. And before you know it, all the leaves are down and the trees are bare like that. Here's a song that my granddaughter sang to us last weekend. All the leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. All the leaves are falling down. They turn orange and brown. Isn't that good? <laughs>